Cali Pro Champion, Charles yes, Griffin. How you doing, man? I'm going. I'm doing great, brother. I'm doing great, man. I'm on cloud. I'm on cloud nine still. I'm still over here on cloud nine. Good, good, good. I gotta ask you, what the hell did you do in that two weeks? Because in that two weeks, from Indy Pro to the Cali, I mean, you look great at Indy, but at Cali, you took it to another level. Yeah, you know, um, like everybody keep asking me that question. You know, I just followed the plan what Matt gave me. You know what I mean? His whole thing was, um, they, 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 they at at Indy they said they gave it to Blessing because he was more fuller. That's what they said. That that's that's the stuff they said. So right off top, Matt was like, okay, so what we gonna do is we're gonna come in sharper at this show. So he wanted me to be like a, a pound two pounds, a pound and a half to two pounds less Mm -hmm. than where we were going into Indy. So we were able to carve up more, you know what I mean? Be a lot fuller and a lot sharper. So um, we stayed on the same baseline plan. So basically just took 30 grams of carbs off of each of the meals. So I was eating 180 gram carbs on my baseline plan. It dropped to 150. And that was really the only thing that we did. And I just kept the cardio at 30 minutes a day. Then I don't do cardio on quad day, which is Sunday. So six days and 30 minutes of cardio and just hitting that diet like that. And man, we just, we, we just got better, man. And then we just, it's unbelievable. And it's like a pound. Like when, when we left Tuesday, when I left Wednesday to the show, I was down two pounds lighter than what I was at Indy. But after we carved up harder and everything like that, we carved up, I actually weighed more. Than really? I, I actually weighed more at Cal Pro than I weighed at Indy. But going into the San Diego Cal Pro, I was lighter. But we were able to carve up more and get a little more fuller. And we were, like, right on point. Yeah. Your, the separation on your quads was all the way up to your hip. All the way. All I, the way. I, I, like, the last time I saw legs like that was, like, Chris Cormier used to have quads like that, where the separation yeah. was all the way up to his hip. I mean, it was – and your rear double by looked outstanding. Yeah, you know, it's crazy because, like, my legs, like, they have details, but I don't know. Like, Matt was like, I don't know what was happening, buddy. Just keep those leg workouts. The, the I'm doing, like, if I'm in a gym doing quads and I, I do the same order of my exercises – and I will wait until that person gets done with that machine right. so I can do that same exact order. So I've just been killing the legs doing it like that. And, man, they just split up. They just split up. And usually it's my rear last spread that's like the whoa. But my back double bicep, everything was just like, you know, we forgot about that number on a scale. You know, when we tend to worry about that number on a the scale, then that's when you tend to not come in as sharp as you, you're supposed to. You know what I mean? So we're just like – Whatever the numbers on the scale, that's just a guy. You know what I mean? We're not really worried about that number on the scale. And it worked in our favor, man. We came in like Indy was my best ever. And then all of a sudden, Cal, we just topped that. It was just like yeah, you were at a different level of Cali. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was, it wasn't night and day. In Indy, you looked fantastic. Yeah. And I remember I texted you. I thought you had taken it. And I mean, it was close, but I thought you took it. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, um, and then when you came out of Cali, I was like, I don't even have to text you. I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> Man, I after was like, prejudging, like after prejudging, because it's always dope when they got four people in the first call out. But this call out, they had five mm-hmm. and I was directly in the middle and they didn't move me the whole time. And then they pulled four out. So I'm not going to lie to you. After prejudging, um, after prejudging, I walked off that stage. I was like, this is my show. I yeah. won it. So, yeah, yeah. Like, I know it after prejudging because I know like we weren't going to get worse and um, for finals, this and that, I told him I want to come in sharper or I want to come in just as sharp. So I want to do more than what we did at Indy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I want to do more than we did. And I want to come in as sharper or sharper. And we came in just as sharp or a little bit sharper for the night show. Yeah, I, I mean, Mo Shaban looked great. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. He looked good. Such a good dude, too, man. Is he so, really? Oh, man. Such a good dude. Mo Shaban is like one of the most genuine, nicest persons in my eight years of competing. I will put him at the top of the list for real. Oh, for real. Right, Shaban yeah. is that he's that solid of a dude, man. Like he lost to me and he was still gen- genuinely happy. Like you beat me, brother. You deserve this. Yeah. And yeah. He, he messaged me the other day. He messaged me. I messaged him our early uh, congratulations. And he says, thank you for pushing me to make me push harder. He's right. like, I appreciate your friendship. Like he's a, he's a solid dude. But uh, like, cool. He looked good. He looked real good too. At, at he Cal. did. Yeah. But that he, whole lineup, the whole lineup was, 
No, that yeah. lineup, that lineup was better than Indy and better than the New York Pro. Yeah, that lineup was something else because that lineup had uh, the two Italian guys, Muncy and um, Presti. Yeah, Presti was second at New York, and then he played seventh at this show. Yeah, I was know like, know what? what? I mean, he didn't fall off that much, I didn't yeah, think, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. You you didn't lose in Indy. No, nah, man, you know I me. Mean? I'm sticking to my guns, man. I'm not going against what the judges say or nothing like that. I'm, I'm doing it respectfully, you know what I mean? Like, the judges said Blessing won, and he won. But in my eyes... I still don't think Blessing beat me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some of these people drunk the boogeyman juice and they like, oh, the boogeyman look better, this and that, that and that, man. I'm just a more complete bodybuilder than, than Blessing. Like what Blessing got on me is, once he got on me is a bigger frame, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have more muscle on his body. He doesn't have that more dense muscle on his body than me. He just has a bigger frame. And what he has, he has a, a, a better midsection. You know what I mean? He has the more more prettier midsection and everything mm -hmm. like that. Other than that, I'm, I'm a more complete bodybuilder than a man. Mm -hmm. Like I, I looked at those photos and like, I was really like, this is my show. I'm about to win this. You know what I mean? So when, when they called down, they was like, I was number four and they are number six or something like that. And they said, number two for second place, Charles Griffin. I'm like, Oh, they messed up. Cause I'm not number two. I'm number six. So they messed up. And I look back at it like, no, but you're still second. I'm like, what the hell? And I was like, come on, man. I just really felt like I was a more complete body than or bodybuilder than Blessing. Mm -hmm. If you look at the posing, when we're going through the posing, he's moving around the posing. He's not hitting the, in the front double biceps, this and that. He's juggling his feet around, moving the poses. I'm sticking the poses. I'm standing in the poses. Like, so I really felt like I beat him in Indy. Like, not, not no, I'm, I'm being straight up honest. I feel like I beat him. So when they asked me that question at the Cal Pro, I was like, I'm going to eat the boogeyman up, man, because – like I feel like, uh, what's that the 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 Maso, the um that coach the one that coached the Italian guys and everything? What's his name? Oh, I, I forgot his name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he told me he's like, I look at life. Blessing didn't beat you. I was at New York. His body doesn't look like you. You he cannot beat you. Like this is these are like real bodybuilding people, you know, coming right. up and like telling me this. Like, yeah, you see on Instagram, this and that, that and that. You got a couple of the real bodybuild body bodybuilding body enthusiasts saying that blessing one. But if you go on Instagram, you see, I'm like, damn, blessing, like everybody's saying blessing, but he has 1.8 million followers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, you're gonna yeah. see a lot of blessing, a lot of blessing compared to my 210,000 followers. But man, I really feel like I beat blessing at I'm going to get my shot to show to prove it at the Olympia, like Matt said. You know, he's like, at, on the Olympia stage, Matt said he really felt like my physique would have got rewarded at the Olympia stage than his physique. Like, mm -hmm. you don't even see his, his hamstrings. Did he, he, he Hamstrings wasn't even carved out. You know, all this and all that. So it's just like, it is what it is. He he beat me on paper, but I still don't feel like he beat me. So I'm about to I'm about to take it to him and he about to see what the realness is, man. So he do a lot of junk talking, a lot of like I have nothing against him, but I ain't gonna lie. Like the, the guy got on my nerves at the show. Like he was doing so really? much talking. Yeah, so much talking on the stage, just so much this and that. And it was fun. It was good. Like on the stage, it was good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the the shit talking on the stage because that was that he did make it fun. Like he was trying to get in my head. I won that pose. I won this pose. Oh, I'm, really? I'm just in my zone. I'm just in my zone. But like the interview after, like the stuff he was saying, this and that's like, there's a time for it and there's a time not for it. So he just, he's, he, he talks a lot. He's really this and that. So I can't wait to shut him up at the Olympia. What was he saying at the interview afterwards? I, I don't even remember, man. I remember Ian even took a picture, a snapshot of the video, and I was just over there, like, you know, just looking off in La La Land, and Ian said, Charles ain't having it. He just, like, just talked so much, this and that. It's like, and after he got off the stage, he's like, this is the boogeyman show. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, a lot. And I, and he, like, he was number one on the stage, and he came off the stage. This is the boogeyman show. And it's like, all the open-class bodybuilders just looking like, come on, man, like, that ain't cause for it. You know what I mean? At, at the show at, 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 at Cal Pro, it was a camaraderie. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we want to beat each other. We want to compete against each other, but we was all showing respect to each other. You know what I mean? Right. And I feel like he just, that he threw the, the wrench, he's like that monkey in a wrench, like where he just, just like, it, it's uncalled for. You know what yeah. I mean? So I can't wait to shut him up at the Olympia. You know what I mean? No ill will towards him as off the stage, no ill will towards him, this and that, that and that, but 
I got something to prove against him and I know I can beat him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody was like, you're running from him. You're not doing New York because you're running from him. I stated weeks before that I'm doing Indy and Cal Pro. I've never done back-to-back shows and I know I didn't want to do back-to-back shows because I want to give my body a full week to get back to normal. And you see what that full week did for me. Oh, yeah. It, it, it did me right. You know what I mean? So they were like, I'm running from, like, if y'all look at the interviews before, the interview I did with you, the interview I did on this one, I stated I will not be doing New York Pro. Mm-hmm. I say that just because that's a week after the show. We take diuretics. We take this. I want to give my body some rest. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I want to give my body the, the best ability to be its best. And, and that's what I did. And that's why I got that qualification at Cal. I wish he would have came over to Cal. Yeah, yeah. If you came over to Cal, I would have smashed him because I know I would have smashed him because I look better than what I did at India, and I felt like I beat him at India at Cal Pro. He he wouldn't have had a chance. No, I I agree. Yeah, he would have showed up at Cal. I think uh, I think you and Mo probably would have beat him. Yeah, he showed up at Cal yeah, for sure. For sure. Because Mo Shaban looked good. He looked, yeah, and he, he looked good, and he even looked better at uh, this weekend in Toronto. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. Is he talking more shit? Because I don't know. I haven't, I haven't checked it out. But is he uh, responding? No, you know, yeah, he responded a little bit. He was responding, but it's all like it's all love, man. It's all love. Like we, like I said, if I, I don't have, I don't have nothing against him as a person. He's just an annoying person. <laughs> He's just an annoying person. But like, it's all love. Like, dude, he, I work with guys like that. I know what I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Man. Yeah. You know, he's like, you know, he said some couple stuff. He's like, I'm ungrateful. Uh, he was going to go for three for three and he gave me a chance to qualify for Olympia. Oh, he said, I own like 20, I own $20,000 because that was his money that he was supposed to win. This and oh, that. Man. So he coming back with some junk talking, which, I expect it because I was on. I was talking shit. Like I said, I'm gonna eat them up. This yeah. ass. And I, I expect it, and I expect his people, all these people, to reach out to me and start getting on me, which that happens. So it's all love. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna write it in, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk some shit, and I'm gonna, and I'm, I'm gonna let my, I'm gonna deliver. I'm gonna deliver on that Olympia stage, and he's not going. He's not going to place that high. And he sent me that video. His cheeks is looking mighty fat already. You only two weeks before that. <laughs> You two weeks for a show. I still got die face. I'm still shredded. We keeping it tight. You know what I mean? We yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. tight for this next 28 weeks. We're going to grow, but we're keeping it tight as we grow so we can stay in striking. Days. So the more leaner I am, the less time we got to worry about dieting. So I got 28 weeks. I could spend 16, 18 of those weeks like improving yeah. and then a 10 week diet because we're right there in that, 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 that striking range. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm keeping it tight, man. I'm not, I'm like all the way tight. I'm all the way on plan. I'm eating one cheat meal a week. Usually I'm up like 15 pounds one week post show. Now I'm only up like four and a half, five pounds. You know what right. I mean? I'm keeping it tight. So I, I just got like the first time I made it to Olympia was like, I made it. Now mm-hmm. it's like business. You know what I mean? It's like business. So it's like, I, I like I said, where they messed up at is like, I'm a, I'm a believer now. Like, I truly believe in myself. Mm-hmm. It's such cliche. Like I was saying to other people, such cliche. They say 80% of the battle is belief. The other 20% is you delivering. And I'm like, that's some bullshit. You know, mm-hmm. that's some bullshit. But after I seen what I did at Indian Cal Pro, I'm like, damn, they didn't mess up because I really believe in myself now. I'm going to give my respect to the first, second, the top three. I'm going to give my respect to the top three. Mm-hmm. Rami, Hadi Chupan, Brandon. I give my respect to them, but all everybody else behind them, I'm coming for their spot and I'm coming for the top three. I'm coming for those the top three spot, but I'm giving them their respect. That's how they were. They, they earned that respect. But that fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh spot, I'm coming for it. Yeah. Well, Rami's in hot water right now. So, yeah. He, 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 but, you know, he talked to the he talked to dance over the president. He did this and he said this and. He's going, he's, he's going to be there. He's going to be in hot water, but you know what I mean? I'm not going to say nothing bad about Rami. Like I see like certain people, like just, you got to give respect where respects is due. Yeah. You know what I mean? They earned yeah. that. Uh, Rami earned that. Brandon Curry earned that. Oh, and, hell yeah. Uh, and, and Heidi Chupon earned that. And I'm not saying that Nick Walker, the Hunter Labradas, all of them, I'm not saying they earned that, but I've been, I've been a pro before. I've been a pro longer than them. You know what I mean? So yeah, those I'm are a, the young cats. I'm, absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to give my respects to the, to the to the those cats, the top three. I'm going to give my respect to them, but I'm coming for everybody else. Right, right, right. I'm coming right, for right. everybody else. Why not me? Why can't I get into that top seven spot? Why can't I get in that top eight spot? I feel like with what I brought at, uh, at Cal Pro and we're able to improve on that, 
it's, it, 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 why not me? So no, I, I agree, man. You come looking like you did a Cali. They, it's and, it's and no with, joke. Yeah. And with some added improvements, like the, on everybody, like all they talk about is my midsection. Get off my damn midsection. Like I got a bad midsection. What about everything else? I can yeah. name something on all these top body builders. I can name something bad on them. He doesn't have no arms. He doesn't have a big back. He doesn't have that. But they love them, but it's always his midsection. It's just this, shut the fuck up with the midsection. Yeah. Like, we know my midsection. I posted a picture in 2018 before I had the hernia surgery. Look how my waist looked then. Okay, I got a double hernia surgery, and they messed up on a hernia surgery. So my waist is, they, they fucked up my midsection. So that's, everybody just keeps saying midsection, midsection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to train my midsection hard, and I'm going to keep doing my vacuum and I'm going to bring it as best as I can. But I'm just tired of people saying all about my midsection, man. A uh, midsection ain't everything about a bodybuilder. I got I got legs. I got hamstrings. I got a back. I got arms. I got everything. But they want to knock me off. His physique is this because he has a bad midsection. Or does the, the vacuum belong in open bodybuilding? Why doesn't it belong in open bodybuilding? Get the fuck out of here. Come on. It, 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 was, it, was, it was born in open bodybuilding. Give me a break. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You have people like talking. I heard, you know, they, they heard people talking. Up. They were like, uh, I don't know if it belongs in open, but this and that. Come on, man. Arnold and all these people were hitting the, the vacuum way. Absolutely. Frank so, Zane, Arnold. Yeah. Absolutely. So why is it? Why isn't it a, a, a thing for open body? But because, like I said, because it, it, it helps my physique out tremendously. That's it exactly it what it is. Yeah. So they don't want that all done. The, the right. Whatever, man. It's like if people are just trying to hit the vacuum, they hit it and it doesn't make their stuff look good. OK, yeah. But bodybuilding is all about illusions mm -hmm. and i'm creating a sick illusion with that vacuum absolutely so now they want to say it's, it doesn't belong in bodybuilding that's bullshit man. yeah no that, that is bullshit because the one thing that you could do to improve your midsection you did and you did like i'm not blowing smoke up your ass i don't think anybody else in, in open bodybuilding has a better has a better vacuum I mean, yeah, yeah. you know what's the name uh chicarillo bob chicarillo he yeah. said this whole time of bodybuilding he hasn't seen nobody like with a midsection, like uh, a knock on their midsection, do what I did in right. the open class ever. He's like, in all the bodybuilding years, he said nobody's ever. He's like, it's not just a little vacuum. It's a deep vacuum. Yeah, big time. You know what I mean? It's deep vacuum. So I'm an open bodybuilder with a deep vacuum. That's dope as shit, man. Like, give me my, you know, I don't need, I don't, I, I say give me my respect, but I don't give a fuck if they don't give me my respect, but I'm just sick of hearing about my midsection. I'm quit, sick of hearing it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just keep improving. And by the time Olympia come, I'm just going to hush them up. I'm really yeah. going to hush them up. It's on. The, major the majority of uh, bodybuilding fans, uh, the hardcore fans, they give you your respect. They, they know that. They, they do. Love that. They like that '90s. They like your conditioning with the vacuum. This right. and that. You bring it back to that '90s era. Yeah. You know that, that that era. This and that. That and that. So I I appreciate it, man. It's love because you know it's on, man. I'm just excited, man. To it's been a long four years, brother. It's been a long ass four years trying to climb out of this damn hole and to get back to this Olympic stage. So when they gave me that, it's like I finally did it. I yeah. Finally get back on it. So and you I'm didn't just, just do it. You you fucking crushed it. Yeah, it, it wasn't hey. like it wasn't <laughs> like you you squeaked by, you know. Yeah. You, you fucking crushed it. You were like, all right. And all the the majority of the, like I said, man, the, most of the people give you the respect. There's always going to be the shit talkers. There's always yeah. going to be the shit talkers. I mean, I have I don't have a big podcast, and I get shit. And I'm like, dude, what? you know, yeah. you know. And I'm like, Kim, you got to see some of the comments. And I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't even, you know what I mean. I'm not even. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not even close to a big podcast, and they got to see some of the comments I get. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm reading this book called Relentless. You ever heard of it? No. Tim Grover. It was the Michael Jordan's trainer and D Wade's trainer, Kobe Bryant's trainer, and he's just like talking about, you know, don't think, don't think, and shut out the noise. Fuck what they say. You that's know right. What I mean? yeah. So it's like, and that's where I'm at right now. Like, I don't even read the comments on like these other bodybuilding pages and they post, I don't even go read the comments because it don't matter what they say. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know what I'm about to do and they can keep counting me out because I'm going to just, I love it. I love to be the underdog. I love them talking shit. So they're not going to smile on their face. Like I did it. I got into that top eight. Mm -hmm. I really, I shit you not, man. I really believe that I could get in that top eight. I see the names that they're saying that it's going to get in the top eight, this and that. I beat several of the bodybuilders that they say mm -hmm. that's going to be in the top eight. I beat several of the bodybuilders when I didn't look like how I looked. 
Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? oh, we want to see this person there. We want to see this person. I beat him. I beat him. I beat him. I beat him. And I wasn't even at my best. So now, did, did you see the, the transformation I put up from the Olympia, from the Olympia 2018 to the Cal Pro? Yes. Did you see that transformation? Yeah, it did. I, and now it's like a whole different bodybuilder. So Night and day. Like, I'm going to see this person and I want to see he's going to get in the top eight spot. He gonna get. I beat all them. When I was that bodybuilder, I'm a mm-hmm. whole, I'm a total, I brought some new shit now. That's and right. It's on, man. It's on. Like, I, I'm just so excited, brother. I'm so excited. It's on, man. I can't, they can't say nothing to me right now. That's going to get me mad. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't blame you. It's, uh, and it's, it's the truth, man. And <clears throat> excuse me. Some of the guys that break the top 10, um, Shabon broke the top 10. He was top. He was, t- he was yeah. in the top 10 last year. Some of the guys that break the top 10 do it on. Um, how can I say this? Yep. You, you, you have that branch Warren blue collar, hard work physique. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That hard. Yeah. You could tell you're banging the weights and you're fucking yeah. putting the work. And some guys come in because they're just gifted. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you could tell they're not kind of dieting right, not hitting hard, and so on and so forth, and they just kind of squeak by or whatnot. And you could, you could definitely, you could definitely break the top eight. I don't have a doubt in my mind. Yeah, it's you gonna know? be man. I, I'm, I'm focused on. I, I like I tell them, and I told Matt, I text Matt this morning. My calves are about to be bigger in seven months. My mm-hmm. calves are be bigger. I'm not leaving no stone unturned. I'm practicing the vacuum. I'm posing my posing because. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm be a critic on my own self. One thing I got to work on is staying more upright on stage mm. and not letting it sink down and getting relaxed with my midsection. Mm-hmm. I need to stay more upright. I've seen some stuff where I know I need to work on. So mm-hmm. right now is the time where I work on that, where I'm making sure I'm staying upright and I'm keeping the midsection more long because I got a short torso. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to really sink down to make it even shorter. Right. So I got to stand tall. So I got to stand tall. And that's what I got to do. So that's the things I need to work on. So it's on, man. You know what I mean? And I work on those little fine things and I got 28 weeks to do that. So it's like, it's on. You know yeah, you got, pl- you got plenty of time. You said before that you do uh, the same kind of uh, leg routine every Sunday when you do, when you do quads. What, uh, what kind of routine is that? So I start with leg extensions. Um, then I go straight to the hack squat. Mm-hmm. And um, I go to hack squat. I do like four places of warm up. And then I do five plates and then I jump right up. I do strong jump right up to like the seven, eight, then I'm seven, eight plates, nine plates, ten. Damn. Plates, you know what I mean? I'm going like that. And then I go to the, the horizontal leg press. I'm calling mm-hmm. the, the the squat, the squat leg press or whatnot. I go to the 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 pendulum squat. I mean the horizontal leg press, feet very low on the platform, you know, a little shorter length out. And that right there. It's just constant tension on your quads, constant tension on your quads. Mm. And then I go to the pendulum squat, the pendulum squat. Yeah, I never tried one of those. My gym don't have one. Yeah, the pendulum squat. And then I do adductors. I've been doing that exercise. I've been doing those exercises in that order for the last year. Mm. And at Indy and at this show, I finally saw the growth in my legs. So now I got a little bit more time. Now rebound time is the most anabolic time to That's grow. Right. So yeah. like yesterday, I'm doing light work right now. Left two weeks post show, he wants me just doing 45 minute pump work, this and that. Mm-hmm. Yes, I just did 45 minute pump work on the legs. I only went up to five plates on the hack squat for 15, but my legs is co- sore right now. Quads are sore, mm-hmm. this and that. So it's all man. That's my leg workout right there. Other the other workouts, I get bored, so I switch it up a lot. Mm. You know what I mean? I switch it up a lot. Some people like to stick with this and stick with that, stick with this. When it comes to back, chest, shoulders and all that, I like to, I get bored. So mm-hmm. my those all those workouts always look different. Yeah, but my so, quad day is identical every Sunday. It's just identical. Your back, do you still uh, do the heavy uh, deadlifts and, and heavy I don't rows? Deadlift. I don't no. deadlift. I never deadlift. I do rack pulls and heavy mm-hmm. rows. So like if I do five exercises, Three of those exercises are rows. Oh, okay, all right. And then all I right. do a, a a rack pull, and then I do a pull down. You know what I mean? So I'm real big on the rows, and it's like all the rows. I'm doing dumbbell rows. I'm doing the cable rows with the neutral grip. I'm doing the, I'm doing whatever rows I feel like doing the metal rows or 
I don't even, I don't do too much do bent over barbell rolls anymore. I used to do a lot of those, but I just rolled. So I'm at least doing three rolls every, every back exercise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it just always switches around. I, I can't never just stick to the same workouts. It just, I just get bored. I like to keep it different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I hear you, man. I, I definitely hear you. Like uh, that's the one thing about, uh, not that I was ever at your level or not even close, but the one thing about not competing is I can do the workout that I want to do. and I don't have to listen to nobody. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I, I, you know, I say with the younger bodybuilders and you just getting started. Yeah. It's good for them to stick to a, a certain exercises for six months or three months and then switch it up because they can really see progression that way. Yeah. See they progress this way. But with me, I've been doing it. I've been in the game. It's like, I'm going to switch it up. And I, mm-hmm. I want to keep it interesting. I, what I'm going to do this back day, what I'm going to do this show today. You know what I mean? That's how I like to keep it, keep it interesting for me. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So you're doing any uh, guest posing or anything in the, in the, in the no, future? I'm hoping, I'm hoping somebody reach out. You know what I mean? My father, I'm, I'm, my, I'm, I'm out there. I'm booming right now. It's yeah. booming right now. My name is booming. My follow on Instagram is going crazy. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a lot of engagement. It's like, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving the support. I'm loving it from everybody. I'm getting a lot of love. So, you know, hopefully somebody reaches out. If not, after Olympia, they're going to reach out. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. No, <laughs> they're, they're going- definitely going to reach out. There's no yeah. question about it. You're the yeah. biggest name in bodybuilding right now yeah. because you just destroyed everybody at the Cali Pro. And, um, and talk about that, like James Hollanday and a couple of them was like, you know, it's pretty dope to see people on going again say like the more and more I look at Charles Griffin is like, I think that is like the best that anybody's looked this year that's qualified for the Olympia. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree. Man. Like the most sharpest this and that that anybody qualifies. So that's pretty dope coming from somebody that wants to beat me on stage and I want to be him on stage. But he gave me my props saying that. So, you know, that meant a lot right there. That yeah. Means- Absolutely. And James is one hell of a bodybuilder, man. He is. Yeah. Just, he is oh, one. Man. There's a lot of guys from the UK. James, um, uh, uh, Samson Dowd is an amazing yeah. bodybuilder. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of guys. Uh, Nathan, yeah. I hope Nathan gets his, gets his, uh, you know, competes this year and gets it's his qualification. Nathan, man, because he didn't miss like three Olympias. He's been qualified for three Olympias and he's missed all three of them. Yeah. 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 Fuck I mean, yeah. 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 That yeah. sucks. Yeah. But um, so 28 weeks. You hit the Olympia, you're going to break the top 10, and Blessing going to get his ass whipped. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to whoop Blessing's ass. Man. I, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not even worried about Blessing. I'm worried about the the Nick Walker, the Hunter Labrada. Mm-hmm. I'm worried about I'm worried about them. You know what I mean? I'm not even worried about Blessing, to be honest. I, that Blessing, needs, Blessing needs to go about two more years on training them legs. Because them quads, his legs weren't even – like, when they said they're like – I seen Chikoro said their legs are about the same size. No, our legs are not about the same size, man. Mm-hmm. I got I got Blessing's legs, and I got more hamstrings than him. So I'm not even worried about Blessing, man. I'm more worried about, like I said, the Hunter Labralas and the Nick Walkers and all them, and even Justin Rodriguez. I'm more worried about Justin Rodriguez because once Justin gets his uh, once Justin rests and his body gets back to to how it's supposed to be, That's I'm right. worried about Justin. Even though I beat Justin and Blessing beat him twice. I'm worried about Justin before I'm worried about Blessing. No, Justin I mean? is a Justin is a as a crapshoot man. Justin comes in 100. percent Everybody better watch out. Yeah, you know he just he's just not consistent. But when he's yeah. when he's on, he's on. He's on. He's yeah, on. and he's yeah. tough to beat, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely so, tough to beat. Yeah, so I enjoy talking shit to Blessing in his 28 weeks. But like I said, he's the least of my worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is first Olympia. This is my second one. I'm handling business and business is with the, the guys that played there last year. You didn't even make it there last year, so I'm not even worried about yeah, it. Yeah, right. I just hope you don't talk too much shit backstage. Oh, yeah. You know, he got to, he got to, like, you know, you got to give respect where respect's at, man. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's one thing. Like, I will never talk shit about, like I said, the top three guys. Right. You know, I like the people like I'm not talking shit about Nick Walker, me and Nick cool, but like he when they ask him questions about Rami and he's like, I hope he doesn't look how he looked last year. Like, come on, man. That's the that's Mr. Olympia. Yeah. He's Mr. Olympia. Regardless of what he's doing, this and that, that and that, he's earned that respect because he's running two times in a row. Mm-hmm. He's earned that respect. You could tell people I'm coming for Rami, but to talk stuff about Rami. You can't do that. You can't yeah. talk shit about Brandon Curry. You can't talk shit about Hottie Chupon. You just, they earn that respect. So yeah, I'm they, yeah. That respect. I want to beat them, but I, I'm not going to talk shit about them. I talk, I, I talk mess about the other guys, you know what I mean? But 
you earn some respect and blessing needs to know that like he needs to keep that mouth shut sometimes yeah 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 it's, i like, hear man. sometimes but i'm not a I, uh, yeah listen, listen, i got nothing against uh blessing i don't know i never met him uh you know um but he 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 does talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> He does talk a lot, and he cries a lot too. Apparently, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Nick Power Strength had me winning, then he goes over there and tells you are a bitch and starts cussing at Nick. Yeah, Power that's Strength. right. So, yeah, that's you know, right. I'm like, he, this is what his job, and we're in bodybuilding, so he picked me. The judges picked you. So why right. are you mad at Nick? Why are you going off at Nick? Nick got me winning, but the judges picked you, so be happy. Right. But you want to come at Nick Power Strength because he thought my physique was better. My physique was more complete. Right. Come on, man. Uh, yeah. Whatever, man. It, 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 it's I have a feeling he's not going to be the uh, first guy that's going to have uh, a lot to say. So, oh, no, you know, uh, you know, so look, look at it this way, dude. If if people weren't shit talking, you'd be doing something wrong. I know. You right. know, right. Yeah, right. So you'd right. be doing right. something wrong. But and like uh, I said, talking shit with blessing. I'm not going to lie. It's going to make this 28 weeks fun. Yeah, <laughs> right, good, I could talk shit to some of the best ones. Best, yeah. of you. I mean, you see this big nose on my face right here. I had to grow up with this. I had to stop fighting people because they talk shit about the nose, and I had to learn how to start talking shit and clowning. So, bless it. He can't. I, I could talk shit with the best of them. So, yeah. we could go all day. We could go all day. It's just going to make it more fun. You know what uh, I mean? That's good. Going. I'm yeah. going to put a wager up. That's what I want to do. I want to put a wager up. Oh, I'd like okay? to see that. You yeah. Put, put your money where your mouth is. Let's see That's right. You, where your mouth is. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because. Yes. Put like some of that red con money up. Yeah. He looking like he let himself go. His cheeks was already fat two weeks post show. <laughs> it's like, oh, boy. Don't, don't send me those videos with your cheeks all fat like that, man. <laughs> We ain't getting fat over here. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting busy. That's what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Listen, Charles, man, I'm going to let you go, bro. Once again, right. a pleasure. And you're making me want to buy tickets to go to the Olympia and, and check this out because uh, oh. because uh, I, I might have to practice on my Kung Fu and be backstage with you, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, brother, have a good night. And again, thank you so much for doing this. I always appreciate your much love, much respect, as always. Thank you, brother. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, brother. Yep. Later. Later.